We talked about Irish water and it, the Irish Times leads with, uh, with the story, no jail for water defaulters yeah. uh, under new measures. Have you an opportunity to read that? Yeah, and it's also on the front page of the Irish Examiner, Juno McEnroe, is writing about it there. So this is to come before Cabinet tomorrow. Um, Alan Kelly and the Justice Minister are working on this so that people who refuse to pay and people who cannot pay are separated by this legislation. Um, so the How attachment... Are they going to, to distinguish between the two? Well, I guess we'll see, we'll see with their legislation tomorrow. I'm not, the attachment orders are on your social welfare and your wages, so I'm presuming that there's going to be some deductions made on what you're earning and, and what you're uh, receiving in benefits is presumably what the legislation uh, w will be looking at and that those who, but there, the idea is that there'll be no imprisonment for, for the groups who, who I have an interesting pay. question. We were kind of discussing it beforehand. You can go to jail for not paying your TV licence. And people do go to jail. And well, for do, not paying the for fine. For not paying the fine attached to it. Yeah. Can you go to prison for not paying your local property tax, for instance? My question is, there seems to be, it's like this, this Irish water tax, which is a tax whether you think it's fair, unfair, justified, unjustified, regardless of where you stand on the argument. It's a tax like five others that were being charged. And so all of a sudden, they're kind of determining all different sanctions. And that, I, I, it, does it show that the government is nervous in its application? They're, they're unsure as to how best apply the sanctions? Um, because, you I know, think the argument that it's not a tax, which the government has been trying to make, that it's a utility and not a tax, is really undermined by the idea of attachment orders to yeah. wages, because well, that's where your tax comes from. It looks like a it. duck and walks like a duck yeah. and quacks like a duck. You so, know. so I think that move by the government... Um, is, is ill thought out when they're trying to make it seem like, more like a utility and that you're paying for the services just what like you do for electricity. What happens if the majority of people don't pay and, and the, uh, the Irish water fails to meet the criteria uh, of the Eurostat uh, people and it has to be incorporated on the government's books? Well, Does the whole thing collapse? But the government, haven't the government argued, now again, I'm not an expert on this, but haven't the government argued that this is precisely the way they can keep it off the government's books? And so they're navigating a very, very narrow channel here. And so it's things like this, it's determinations that, look, nobody's going to go to prison here, this is a last resort thing, this is part of this, to avoid exactly the scenario that you're painting. But the first bills have gone out, so we'll know pretty soon what the payment rates for those first... I wonder I've got, I never got any bill, I never got any documentation ever to do with Irish water. And I'm sure that I'm not alone in the country. This must happen to thousands and thousands of people. As in you didn't get the initial application never, nothing, back? nothing, nothing, ever. I think the media, um, the advertisement campaign was meant to be that we were meant to go seek it out if you didn't receive it. But um, oh, that might be idea. asking a lot of a lot of people. Yeah, uh, certainly asking a lot of me. Okay, we've got to go to a break. After the break, we'll get some of the texts and tweets and talk a bit about